For more than four decades, this, the BMW 3 Series, has been the benchmark of sports sedans. But now, there's a new hotshot in town. This, the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Yep, this is definitely going to be old guard versus new guard. So what we have here specifically mm -hmm. is the 330i X-Drive. Two liter turbocharged engine, 240 horsepower. And the Giulia is quite similar, you know, it also has a two liter turbo four. Yes, there are faster versions of both of these cars, but we're not driving those cars today. We're driving what will arguably be the volume sellers. This is the car that defines that compact, sporty sedan segment. I think you're wrong, because now that the Julia is back, I think this completely redefines what it means to be a sports sedan in this segment. Test drive them. It's a beautiful sunny day, why not? Let's go. What we got here is the 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia. The TI version. The TI, uh, all wheel drive, 280 horsepower. I like it too, and I like the fact that you have your various modes, your dynamic, your normal, and I don't know what A stands for, but I'd probably avoid it. A stands for avoid because it dulls the car quite a bit. Exactly. I'm looking at the Dumbo sized paddle shifters. <laughs> That's a bit of overkill. It is. They're fun to use, but try getting around to the controls behind the paddle shifters. It's part of the experience. It's a sports sedan. It's, yeah, it's an Alfa Romeo. The one disappointment is the interior. I don't get any sense of luxury at all. The infotainment system is a bit of a sticking point for me. Yeah, it's uh, the, the graphics aren't particularly great. And it's not responsive either. There's no quadrifoglio, but it's not bad. Now it's as good as any time to hop into the 3 Series and see how the Alpha stacks up against the segment benchmark. And where do we find ourselves now? A 2017 BMW 330i X-Drive. This is the standard of sports sedans mm -hmm. in the compact segment. I can see why. I do like the steering. I know you and I disagree on that, but you're wrong, I'm right, so. No. Now, this is $57,000 as equipped. It's got almost $10,000 worth of options. You get a lot of superfluous stuff. The only thing I really like is the M Sport package. You get the bumpers, you get the nice seats. Yeah. I wouldn't buy a BMW without the M Sport package. I do like the infotainment system a lot more than the Julia. It's more polished, the graphics are better, it's easier to use. It is one of the better systems out there. I do feel the materials are better in the 3 Series than the Julia. The 330i is best enjoyed in sport mode. Absolutely. Yeah, you get, a, you get more of a sense of it being a sporting sedan. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it sounds, it does sound better than the Julia. The Julia does need more of an exhaust. It's easy to see why the 3 Series has been the benchmark for, for so long. Nick, I don't know about you, but I love everything about the Alfa Romeo. I love the look. I love saying Alfa Romeo. I like the engine, plenty of power. I love the wheels. Mm -hmm. It's just one thing I don't like. Don't say it. Reliability. Oh. Reliability. That's the killer. You're right. It is. And that's why if you're looking to pick up either of these cars for the long run, let's say five, six, seven years, whatever, the BMW is the better choice. And as good looking as it is, and as much as it breaks my heart, I can't go with this. I have to go with the BMW, at least for another year. Whatever you're cross shopping against the A Julia, it's the safe choice. But I'd stick with the Alpha. I'd live a little. Fair enough. I'm old guard, you're new guard. For driving.ca, I'm Brian Harper. And for driving.ca, I'm Nick Tragianis. And don't forget to tell us what vehicles we should compare next.